Hello everyone, I will show you how to Scenic Inventory on Big Seller in this video. With the Scenic Inventory feature on Big Seller, you can manage all inventory for multiple stores and warehouses. When an item is sold in one store, the stock in other stores will also be detected automatically. For example, you sell a same product both in store A, store B, and store C. When this product is sold in store A, Big Seller will detect stock in store B and store C automatically. Next, I will show you the steps to Scenic Inventory on Big Seller. What you need to do firstly is create a merchant SKU and map relations with product SKU. The third step is create Scenic Inventory rule. The final step is enable inventory feature. For the first and the second steps, we have detailed explanation in other videos. So next, I will just show you an example. For example, the merchant SQ for this price is EDR1 on Big Seller, and I sell it both in Shopee, Lazada A, and Lazada B, these three stores. Here you can see the product SQ is different in every stores. In Shopee, the, the product SQ is A01. In, La, in Lazada A store, the product SQ is B01. In Lazada B store, the product SQ is C01. The merchant SQ means the SQ you created on Big Seller. And the product SQ is added when you publish your products to your online store. You need to map relations with between the merchant SQ and the product SQs. Next, I will take this stress for an example to create a merchant SQ and map the relations. You can go to Big Seller Inventory Merchant SQ. Click here to add a new merchant SQ. Here you can enter the SQ name, A01, and the title. Then select to mapping the store SQ. Here you can filter store and search the SQ name. Then search Lazada SQs. Then click Confirm. Then you can click here to save this merchant SQ. Now the merchant SQ has been created and the relationships has been mapped successfully. The next step is to create a Scenic Inventory rule. You can go to Scenic Inventory. Only after you set Scenic Inventory rule, Big Seller will know how to Scenic your stock if the available stock changes on Big Seller. You can click here to add a new Scenic rule. Here you enter a rule name. Then select the merchant SQ you want to Scenic. For example, this dress. If you want to select other products, you can also select, then click Confirm. Here you need to select the warehouse. If you have more than one warehouse, you can select one or several warehouses. For example, here I select these two warehouses. Then Big Seller will send the stock according to the total number of the merchant SQ in these two warehouses. For example, there are 100 stock in this warehouse, and there are 200 stock in the second warehouse. Then Big Seller will send 300 stock to your online stores. 
Next, you can set the percentage to decide how many stores you want to send it to your online stores. For example, if you set the percentage to 100 and the available stock for this dress is 100 on Big Seller, then Big Seller will send it 100 stock to your three stores. But if you set it to 50 percentage, Big Seller will send it 50 stock to your three stores. With this feature, you can use the remaining stock as prevent overselling. Let's back to the Sonic rule. Here you can select the stock. For example, the My Shopee store and the Lazada A and the Lazada B stores. Then click, click Confirm. Here you can Choose whether you want to enable the priority stock. After you enable this feature, you can select a priority stock and set a safety stock here. When the stock is below the safety stock, Big Seller will send it zero for the selected stock. Expect the priority stock. The priority stock is selected from the Sonic stores here. You can select one as your priority store. For example, here I select the Shopee store and set 10 safety stock. Then Big Seller will update zero stock to these two Lazada stores if the stock is lower than 10. With this setting, you can prevent overselling and make sure you have stock in the best sales stock. After adding all information, you can click here to save it. The last step is to enable the inventory feature. You can find it in Big Seller settings. Then go to Inventory settings and enable the inventory features. These are all steps to send it stock on Big Seller. Then Big Seller will send it the stock to your online stores if the available stock changes on Big Seller. After Big Seller sending the inventory to your online stores, you can check the sending recordings here. Okay guys, it is all about sending inventory feature on Big Seller. Please contact our support team if you have any other questions.